Hello, welcome to the next segment 4 of video training of view of hyperspectral imaging technology. In this presentation, I will go over head wall diffraction gratings and hyperspectral systems. What's important in hyperspectral imaging system is application specific. Um, spectral range, side weight, power, environment, of the motion, field of view, uh, resolutions and focus, lighting, signal to noise ratio, image quality and quality of data, software, software and cost budget. At head walls, spectral range is off the shell. Um, hyperspectral imagers, we have the sphere, near, extend, v near, and the v near. Here we have the side weight and power, driven by application and platform, um, payload allowance of platform, the side weight power consumptions and the duration of acquisition time versus storage capacity. Headwall has a sweet system size, like full size high performance system where swap is not an issue. We have the micro hyperspec Gen 2 designed to fly on small UAVs in conjunction with compact data system, compact HDPU. We have no moving parts, no fan, SSD, and low power. Here we have the motions sample imager or scanning mirror. Hyperspectral imagers are line imagers. Motion is required to capture a 2D image. Head wall offers static kit, which is standard and large format sample motion. Uh, we have pan and tail outdoor imager motions. We have scanning mirror, point and stair optic motions. Static kit can be configured. Um, can downward looking imager, sampling and moving, sideways looking imager, um, imager moving together with illumination system. Here we have the spectral sampling interval versus spectral resolutions. The SSI is, uh, parameter is related to ge uh, geometric spacing dispersion, etc. Optical spectral resolution is usually broader than SSI. For example, like uh, 20 micron meter slit and 6.5 micron meter uh, pixel pitch will equal greater to uh, slit is approximately 3. Pixel Y uh, equal spectral resolution um, approximately three times SSI plus a little more because of other factors. Here we have the uh, uh, a picture of uh, indoor lighting and illumination for indoor application. Head wall offer illumination sources for UAV uh, near infrared, short wave, infrared. Head wall illumination solution for small and large line shaped sources that are optimized for hyperspectral imaging with variable power. So here we have the outdoor lighting and illumination. So they Daytime light source is almost exclusively from solar radiation for veneer and sphere, airborne, hyperspectral imaging application. Sun is essentially a black body at about 5800 C. Atmospheric transmission highly variable with significant absorption bands from water, CO2. Here you have the operation 
correction distortions. Uh, you want an image with no distortion so that every pixel in the slit is mapped into a column of pixels on the focal plane. No serious calibration math needed to fix the data and we get this mostly for free in Offner. In computing systems you will see keystone and smile distortion. So if you look to the to your, your left graph there are no distortion. Um, you see a perfect square on poker plane array. Uh, the middle picture I see keystone distortion. Which uh, you see a diffracted slit image is keystone shaped on focal plane array. And to the right smile distortion, diffracted slit image is curved on focal plane array. With an uncorrected system, you have a nice focused and crisp image at the center, but as you can see on the left, the top and bottom third of the image are out of focus. Head walls pattern aberration correction imagers correct the aberration that makes the image fuzzy, providing a crisp image across the slit to reduce the number of passes over a scene. Here we have the uh, data quality for stray light. You see on the left, um, you can see no stray light. Uh, diffracted slit image is crisp on a focal plane array. Uh, picture on the right, stray light. Unintended light and up on focal plane, adding airiness signal to detect the array. Transmitter gratings tend to contribute to stray light. Head wall grading a reflective, very low stray light. This will conclude this presentation. Stay tuned for the next segment 5 overview of hyperspectral imaging technology. Thank you for watching.